The state of Arkansas banned so-called transgender treatments for minors. Church Militant's Paul Morano explains this new law and the feedback coming from all sides of the ideological spectrum. I am Natasha. I am eight years old and I'm transgender. The Arkansas General Assembly Tuesday overrode their governor's veto, making the natural state, coincidentally, the first in the nation to ban chemical and surgical castration of gender-confused minors. Republican Governor Asa Hutchinson vetoed the Save Adolescents from Experimentation Act before being overridden by the legislature. I go back to William Buckley, I go back to Ronald Reagan, the principles of our party, uh, which believes in a limited role of government. Although the new law bans puberty blockers, hormone replacement, and sex mutilation surgery on children, the Luciferian media is not happy. Arkansas will be the first state to ban gender-affirming care for transgender minors. Uh, tell us more about this bill and what it could mean for trans kids in the state. The 20% of those who deeply regret their so-called transition, however, see this as a positive step. It is the greatest medical fraud in history to suggest and begin carving up somebody's body and then telling them they've changed genders when in fact they haven't. Walt Heyer, who attempted a sex change, knows it's impossible to change one's sex. Nobody can change genders. It's impossible. It's delusional. It's a mental illness. Heyer realizes every cell in one's body remains either male or female despite the cosmetic changes. And that sex is not assigned at birth, but created at conception. Transitioning to woman. Billy Burley was molested by his diving coach when he was in the sixth grade. I've been doing this for seven years now. My problems should have gone away from by now, but they hadn't. And Renee Jacks was cross-dressing as an adolescent, acting out from a turbulent upbringing. I've now been living as a woman for 28 years, and I fully regret this. Like so many other sexually confused people, Jax is working through psychological challenges. My father was pretty much absent um, most of my childhood. He was an alcoholic. Uh, my mother was mentally ill. The childhood was so troubled and tr so traumatic. Rather than mental and spiritual counseling or waiting out temporary feelings that often come and go during childhood and adolescence, today's left offers castration as a solution, which is often permanence. Well, this is chemical castration. Of While Arkansas is calling out this latest ideological war in human nature, left-wing politics points to pseudoscience to justify what is objectively child abuse. All right, Paul, so Republicans were shocked when Governor Asa Hutchinson, a Republican, right. vetoed the SAFE Act. Uh, why did he veto the SAFE Act? Well, first of all, he thought that it was um, a, little, a little too much overreach, at least that's what he said. Uh, and, and one of the excuses he used was that because um, some of the people who've already gone through the treatment would have no access to anything, in which, which I later realized that wasn't necessarily the case. But he also, on Tucker the other night, I think it was last night, he. Um, he told Carlson that uh, he is uh, um, philosophically in the line of Bill Buckley and Ronald Reagan, and uh, which has limited government, and he, at least for now, sees this as uh, too much government overreach. Interesting. Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously the legislators yeah. overcame the veto, and yeah. now this, we have this law that's actually protecting children. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we know very well the statistics for people, transgender, especially those going through sex change surgery, and these people go through mental anguish, 40% suicide rate. The left, of course, claims that, oh, it's from the bullying and the oppression and the fact that people right. don't embrace them for who they are, but others say, no, it's actually because you're not accepting who you are biologically, who God created you to be. Anybody with any bit of wisdom realizes that when you violate human nature in such a fundamental way, of course there are going to be repercussions from that. You, you will at least subconsciously rebel because it's not who and what you actually are. You are not your feelings. Feelings are fleeting. As we know, there are a lot of people that go through childhood and adolescence as tomboys, they used to be called, and you know, wanting to dress like the other. These things are fleeting. Don't, I can't, it's amazing how many parents are sucked into this mentality today that do this for and to, to their children, actually. It's really abuse. I completely agree. I'm a parent and yeah. I'm just, I'm beyond stunned that so many parents give way to this child abuse because that's what it is. Absolutely. It's child abuse. It's, it's amazing how many parents will get sucked into the winds of the world. It, it's like they have no anchor at all when it comes to 
who they are and what, what human nature is. And they, I will just yeah. say, they, they will have to give a severe accounting to God one day for what they did to their children. I would agree with that. Well, the law makes exceptions for those who are genuinely intersex with chromosomal or hormonal abnormalities and those who've already gone through the experimental treatments. 